A warm welcome to Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami. And today, as usual, we have loads of artifacts lined up for your viewing pleasure. But you have to sit back, relax, and enjoy in a moment. If you don't like my story, write your own. lead to the National Theatre in Lagos. The audience gets set to experience a new tale. When we speak to the younger generation, we tell them that is not so. But you and I know that that is a lie. Oh, my ancestors, truly, they invaded our land, but we gave them the key. A story of freedom, unity and change graces the stage. Mafa chronicles the life of a warrior called Osusu, who is sold into slavery alongside his pregnant wife and son. Life in chains gives him time to think of a way to free his people from bondage. Whoa! 
He later realizes that achieving any breakthrough lies in uniting the different tribes as their strength in diversity. Although the people are unwilling and suspicious of each other's intentions, they had to make huge sacrifices for the love of country. The crew felt this play was apt for people to have hope and not despair no matter what they are passing through. The greatest thing for me is that it takes an issue like slavery and then begins to relate it to the issues that we have, social political issues that we have in Africa, not just Nigeria today. And the, the point that it can be relevant at that point, taking old issues and coming to speak to us, it's forcing us, it's saying think about the future, make your plans. The issue is not the white man is against us, the white man hates us, we hate ourselves. There's a need for us to resolve our internal differences before we begin to plan for the future. And I think that's what the place says to Nigeria.
this story is still, slavery story is still, we all know the story, but how do we turn it around to make a fantastic, a shocking story even to us? And we discovered, okay, do you know what? We can use it as a painting. We have a canvas, then paint. So from there, we're able to just uh, dot, it, dust it with little narrations here and there, and then yeah, and that is how. That's why I say it's fun. It's not much, of, but much of uh, it brings you back to the olden days when theater was thick. When, as a student, we work it hard to get any theater piece done, and that's what this brought me back to. The story is told in simple language, interactive style with costumes, settings and lighting effects that will help drive this message home. And still to come on Art House, our artists for this week. Start putting your thinking caps on in a moment. He is a Nigerian author of plays and novels that are generally about African village life, customs, beliefs and religious practices. His first publication was in 1957, a poem titled Penitent in a University of Ibadan campus magazine called The Horn and edited by fellow writer J.P. Clark. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms.